He got shot in the head, said, hold up, pushed the Secret Service back towards the, the microphone, and he looked at, his, at the people at the end and said, fight, fight, fight for your fucking country. Don't give up, man. Like, oh. they're clearly trying to... <laughs> Why are you smiling so heavy? So we walked up, and probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, we noticed a guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, and, you know, we're pointing... We're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. And we're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. He, you know, he's, he's crawling. I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for yeah. two or minutes. I am the highest version of myself. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the highest version of myself. I am. I know I am that I am. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Godspeed Podcast. I am your host, Joe Guy. And I am Danny. It's everything. How you doing, bud? Um, better than most. Not as good as some. How are you? I'm good. Is yeah, as good as you can be, I guess. Uh, yeah, so they they tried to kill that dude in your sweat on your sweatshirt. Yeah, they tried to kill that guy that's on your shirt and your hat, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, you want to you want to just jump right into that, or what do you want to do here? Sure. All right. Well. Yeah. Um. All right, so here's a video from uh, last night in Pennsylvania. If you were, uh, yeah. What? No, I say if you missed it, here it is. Yeah. Look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Wait, give me my shoe. You ready? <laughs> he's, he said a couple interesting things, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about him. Are we good? Shooters down. Shooters down. Are we good to move? We're clear. Let's go. Let's move. We're clear. Let's move. We're clear. Let me get my shoes. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Hold that in your head. Bloody. So we gotta move to the front. Okay, let's shoot down. Let's shoot. Watch out. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, they just turned him into a model. Dude, they have no idea. They fucked up. <laughs> yeah. They have no idea. They fucked up. Look at this dude. If you weren't motivated before, yeah, you know. Okay, let, can we can we go over a couple things here that I noticed and I saw? <clears throat> right on that video, I mean, you can see. What does the breaking news say? What's the headline there say? Popping noises. Okay, P- pretty pretty uh, strange popping noises. Maybe where people are opening up cans of soda. Maybe they're from some firecrackers. Um, do you want to roll mine? My. my uh, my the video I shared they called media, and tell me tell me what the 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 rolling theme is here. Live pictures coming out of Butler, Pennsylvania, where 
Some loud noises were heard. We don't know exactly what they were yet. The Secret Service rushed him off stage after these loud noises. He was talking to a crowd. We heard noises. He was standing there at the podium, uh, flinched at a noise. We heard, um, we heard sounds. We heard noises. We don't know what they were. Banging or cracking, loud cracking noises. At first I thought, is that, a, is that fireworks? There were reports of a lot of noise, a, a loud, loud noise. We heard the loud noises. There were loud noises. We heard those noises. Loud noises were heard. We had heard those, whatever that sound was, whether it was fireworks or whatnot. I don't want to try to speculate on what that noise was. Why would you want to do that? So uh, all these news uh, sources, media broadcast, all loud, loud noises. They refuse yeah. to. They refuse to say gunshots. They refused. Yeah. Mind you, these were people who were there on on yeah. on site. They they knew exactly what was going on. Dude, <clears throat> when I text, when I text you guys and sent the video to you guys last night. Mm-hmm. David responded and said, Google says just loud. It was just loud noises. I'm like, there's blood on him. Look at him. <laughs> right. Um, the other thing I found interesting, um, because as soon as you sent the text, I started looking for things. And, um, you know, I'm bouncing back from all the, you know, live media broadcasts to that, that one that I showed that was Charlie Kirk was he had a live stream going. I was getting faster, more accurate updates from Charlie Kirk, who had other people who were there um, or had friends who were at the rally uh, rather than the, the news or media outlets. Yeah. Like he was updating you with giving you uh, real time information about things that were there before the media would. So what exactly does that tell you? Right. That the media one has a script at all times. Yeah. They were told not to say gunshots. They were not to, told not to say anything about people being dead. Well, yeah. thank God we live in the age of information where people can share information freely, quickly, um, you know, immediately where you can get an accurate story from somewhere. I yeah. thought that was kind of interesting. <clears throat> the other thing I noticed. Makes sense. The other thing I noticed was, uh, like, like, you know, when you showed the video, you said they turned him into a martyr. So this guy was already a martyr, right? But yeah. th- this thing right here. I mean, you fucked up, Keisha. <laughs> the 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 Democratic Party wishes they had somebody like him. Yeah. The guy got shot. Got, the guy got shot. Literally got shot in the head. Well, I mean, it might not be a kill shot, but he got it. Your ears part of your head. He got shot in the head. Yeah. Said, "Hold up." Pushed the Secret Service back towards the, the microphone and he looked at his at the people at the rally and said, "Fight, fight." Fight for your fucking country. Don't give up, man. Like, oh, they're clearly trying to... <laughs> why are you smiling so heavy? <laughs> but, like, seriously, what... it's clear that they're trying to take our freedoms away from us. You know? I grew, yeah. up, I grew up very liberal. Um, you know, I, I thought I was a... Liberal pussy. I, I, I thought I was a... Bitch. Listen. Uh, growing up, you know... Uh, the the liberal up in the hood. The liberal liberal party was you know freedom of speech, just all, all about freedom, right? And as you get older, that liberal party is trying, literally trying to take your freedom away. They don't want you to have freedom of speech. They don't want you to have freedom to defend yourself, <clears throat> dude. Yeah, it's it's just it's just wild to me that people still think they're the 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 party for the people. When clearly they're not. Yeah. Dude, didn't Rage Against the Machine just come out with a song that's like pro-vaccine or something like that? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Rage Against the Machine. Right. <laughs> they they wish they had somebody like him that would could take a bullet and get up and say, fight. Don't give up. Bro. Fight. You don't think... You don't think this dude could take a... He could take a bullet and he won't even fall down. That guy couldn't take a strong breeze, bro. If somebody, yeah, I know. We've if, seen. if somebody <laughs> farted in his direction, he might collapse. Well, what did he have to say about this whole thing? Well, I don't know, run. I'm thoroughly briefed by all the agencies in the federal government as to the situation, based on what we know now. 
I have tried to get a hold of Donald. Uh, he's with his doctors. Uh, they apparently he's doing well. I plan on talking to them shortly. I hope when I get back to the uh, telephone. Look, there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's Chicago, sick. Baltimore. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. And so, and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who, and we have more detail to come relative to other injured, other people maybe injured in the audience. I don't have all that detail. We'll make that available to you. I may be able to come back a little later tonight, but we'll put out a statement if we don't. If I'm not able to get it, if it's not convenient for you all. But the bottom line is that the Trump rally was a rally that he should have been able to be conducted peacefully without any problem. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. I mean, everybody, everybody must condemn it. Everybody. I'll keep you informed, and if I am able to speak to, the, to Donald, I'll, I'll let you know that as well. So far, it appears he's doing well, number one. Number two, that they're thoroughly investigating what happened to anyone else in the audience. I have, we have some reports, but not final reports. And every agency in the federal government, I'll be, and I'm going back to, to my phone to speak with the federal agencies that are being put together again to give me an updated briefing. Has anything happened? They learned any more in the last couple hours. So thank you very much, and I hope I get to speak to him tonight, and I'll get to back to you if I do. Okay? Mr. President, do you think this was an assassination attempt? I don't know enough. To, I, I, have, I, have, I have an opinion, but I don't have any facts. So I want to make sure we have all the facts before I make some comment, any more comments. Thank you. Are you worried, President? Was the security failing? I mean, well, anyway. Well, I would it take him two to three hours before he put out a statement? Yeah. Yeah. He had to get off the beach or whatever it was. Get off the beach. Yeah. You're out of bed. So on, on July 8th, uh, Biden said, we need to stop talking about this debate and put it behind us. We need to put a bullseye on Trump. Yeah. 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 They've been calling for this for a long time. The other thing I noticed is everything a bullseye. Yeah, yeah. Well, you you know you know everything that they've said he has done throughout the years is actually what they've done. Russian oh, yeah. Russian collusion. It was actually the Biden family with yep. with uh, Ukraine, right? Um, Ukraine uh, inciting violence. I mean. They do that all the time. They still do that. Right. And now you see a, a, a radical uh, liberal trying to take out president-elect. They've, they've, I mean, this was their last move, though, right? This is all they had left. Bro. What else do they have? Knows. What else do they have yeah. left? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, they go through. Just stupid. It's all, it's all. It's one giant fucking show. Did you know I'm listening. that the bureau that is investigating this also investigated the Las Vegas shooting? Oh. And the January 6th uh, pipe bombs? And this is also the same people that raided Mar-a-Lago. Perfect. Probably gonna get some. Uh, I have nothing but uh, confidence in their abilities to do their jobs correctly. Yeah. Another thing. It's crazy though. Like, ooh, ooh, did you think that shit was gonna happen? I did, listen. I'm in all. I think that they've already tried to kill him multiple times. Like that Hawaii missile, and like there's like there's a lot of evidence that they've already tried to kill him. But this is like straight up on national team yeah. like his his rally and yeah. well there's uh there there was other reports when it first happened that it was a false flag <clears throat> yeah and that it didn't really happen and it was a setup to try and gain momentum or motivation uh, i don't know if you want to play that next clip the one that says uh i think i enabled it helper 
Um, I heard the shots. Um, I, um, I thought it was firecrackers to begin with. Uh, somebody over there was screaming, he's been shot, he's been shot. So I made my way over. Uh, I said, I'm an emergency department physician. Let me help you. The guy had spun around, was jammed between the benches. He had a headshot here. There was lots of blood and he had brain matter. There. Oh, no. and so I got him. There's a helicopter coming in to get him. Uh, so uh, I got people there really helpful. I got Was there only one on person shot that you saw? Then I did CPR, did chest compressions as well as a brief one. One person? Yeah. I was only one that did it. So yeah, uh, medical professional. He's an ER doctor, ER physician. Um, uh, an attendee, obviously, shot in the head. Because yeah. the thing, you know, not, not that anybody dying is okay or even being shot, but... Um, Thankfully, this person missed President Elect and, uh, President Elect. and, um, uh, but unfortunately hit a couple of civilians. And that guy was there to try and help the civilians that were hit. So, yeah, you know, you know, I, I, let's, let's play along and say, you know, okay, Donald Trump deserves to get shot, right? Do some of, do his, what? I'm just saying, let's play along. Let's be double. What the fuck? Do some of his supporters, do his supporters who are there just attending it with their families, one, deserve to be shot, but two, think about the kids that were there. They're going to be traumatized for life. Yeah. Think about, you know, we talk about trauma in this country, right? We're, we're all, we're, we're about uh, mental health all of a sudden in this country. Uh, I'm taking a mental health day. But talk about the trauma these, the kids and the, the people there are going to be faced with for the rest of their lives because some piece of shit wanted to would do what they thought was right. What they thought was right. You know? Bro. But that that speaks volumes to how brainwashed and or crazy radical some of these liberals are. You want to play the last video I shared to you? Yeah. If you don't mind. Speaking about how yeah. crazy some of these 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 people are. I just found out about this. It just happened. I haven't even had a second to process. You're telling me somebody finally had the balls to bring a pew pew. And he missed! We were a second away! We were a centimeter away from half of the problem being gone, and you missed! There was a white man attached to that trigger. I know it! We were a centimeter away! Let's process that. <laughs> Let's yeah, process. I saw one like that too, where someone was like, "How the fuck did you miss? We were so close. We were so close." <sighs> <sighs> I need hot cocoa and a puppy. Uh, let's process that. A couple things she said, or he. I don't. I don't know anymore. Um, they. They. Uh, let's process what they said. I bet you was a white man attached to that trigger. Yeah. Well, first of all, how is that relevant? Or, oh, the white man is that much of a demon to this person that, of course, they missed. Oh. That, I, I don't understand the, the logic other than they don't like white men, so they're attaching white manhood to not being able to do what they wanted them to Aim. do right Aim. <laughs> um but how fucked up of you like as much as i dislike the biden family i don't wish death on any of them i really don't well i i don't i don't wish death on any of them man but they're causing a lot of deaths themselves <laughs> Let's get into that, right? <laughs> well, this was supposed to be the Hillary Hillary body count episode. Uh, let's get into that. Uh, he was how many? He was convicted of how many felonies for paying off the porn star? Paying off somebody to keep them quiet is the best thing you can do because the left side of of uh, our government 
likes to kill them instead. That's true. Instead of paying them off to shut them up, they kill them. Yeah. So, uh, if somebody wants to shut me up, please pay me, don't kill me. That's all I'm going to say. You sound like Joe Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> that's not exact. I mean, that's not, that's not, in my perspective, that's not a terrible thing. But go on. You have something to share here? So, this is the kid that apparently did it. 20 yeah. year old Thomas Matthew Crooks. Um, this is what he looked like before. Mm -hmm. A couple of pictures of him. This is what he looks like now. <clears throat> Dead on a rooftop. Yeah. Um, I saw two pictures I wanted to show. <laughs> I saw a couple of things. <laughs> he donate. He made a donation in 2001 to a uh, left wing group, um, and then eight months later registered to vote as a Republican. So I'm I'm assuming maybe that gr I'm. Sp Pure speculation, maybe that group reached out to him and kind of coached him into how to get away with certain things. They say he has zero uh, mo social media presence. As a What 20-year-old doesn't have any social media? Like zero. Yeah. Most of them at least have a TikTok or, uh, you know. TikTok? <coughs> you ain't got that talk? Or, how you, you know, ain't got that talk? Something, right? Um, but at I least, can't believe you ain't got that talk. At least I don't have TikTok. Uh Oh yeah, I saw. Used to. I saw your pe your boys were there. Your 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 people were there. Yeah. <laughs> was this guy in the crowd? What's, what's weird to me is he didn't even sit down. He just I was like, oh, that's interesting. He stood up the whole time. He actually yeah. showing signs you of Biden. You notice him right back there. there though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. He's looking a little like Biden right there. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> looking a little lost in the crowd, buddy. Yeah. Like what is going on? back up, bro? Shit's going down. He's <clears> showing <throat> back up. We haven't even gone over him yet because he's not he's not coming out till after the Clinton body count. Mm. And this episode's got to drop as before all of them. Yeah, you know what I mean. I so, go ahead. the The RNC is this week. Starts mm -hmm. Monday. He's supposed to announce his VP. Yeah. Do you think it's that guy in the crowd that we just saw? I don't know, man. That would that would be some shit. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be him. Um I was hoping for Vivek Ramaswamy because yeah. he uh everything I heard him talk about um Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Vivek Ramaswamy? Yeah, I, <clears throat> I may have not pronounced it correctly, but everything I heard him talk about I I kind of agreed with. So All right. You know, I don't I'm not I don't have a dog in the fight man at this point um what if are you voting for <laughs> then you have a dog in the fight there then don't you i'm just you saying the fight. uh it, it, he could he could pick i mean he could pretty much pick He's anybody at vp right yeah. i don't think it matters at this point um i i i pause on saying that though because everybody Everybody, you know, still needs to register to vote and get out there and vote. Everybody. For multiple reasons, right? How many illegals have been let into this country over the past four years? Goddamn illegals! Duck of turns! There's no, there's no uh, voter ID requirements. So anybody can go and vote. Anybody can go vote. Yeah. I mean, if Biden's yeah. just letting in millions of people, those are millions of votes for Biden. Yeah. As an American, you owe it to yourself and this country, whether you're voting for Biden or Trump, to go register to vote and go make your vote. If you are voting for Biden, though, on your way back from voting, or on the way to, maybe go talk to somebody... A person and here's the thing, Joe. If people are still at this point voting for Biden, there's no helping yeah. them. Yeah, I know. I there's know. no helping them. You know, I did have a, a you know pure speculation. Uh, maybe this kid was MK Altered. You know, they they could have been. Yeah. You know, what do they call it? Where uh, I think I think they made movies about it, where they just they flip a switch and people just go kill for. Political reasons. I forget what it was yeah. called. Manchurian candidate. Manchurian candidate. Yeah. 
Yeah, where they yeah. can just flip a switch and it triggers something in your brain and you just go do all kinds of crazy shit. So yeah. maybe they were MK Ultra'd. Um, by the looks of it, he was probably uh, bullied a bunch at school. Uh, ha- he had a, a cleft palate, I guess, and kind of along the f- the feminine side of things. Even Michelle Obama lunches. <clears throat> you know, um, in rural PA, you know. So. Is this not going to be the most iconic picture ever? 100%. If that's not on the cover of Time <laughs> magazine, um, it so- won't be. Something is wrong. Yeah. After he gets after he gets elected, that should be on the cover of Time magazine. What an opportunity this guy has to fucking Yo. one, he he lived, but two this this photo, this is what you're <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they listen, everyone everybody knows how I feel about government and like how it's a show and all this stuff. But listen, if that wasn't the biggest mistake for your for your candidacy, your your candidate, because it wasn't just some random dude that went and just tried to kill him. That was a professional on another rooftop. This was the response to how bad Biden is in the debate. No. <sighs> Uh, on one hand, I say yes. Is their only? It was their only chess move they had left was to try and actually take him out. But uh, on the other hand, I don't know, man. I don't know. What it's, you know? It's crazy. They've been call. They've been calling for something like this for a long time. You know, because yeah. it's. But you got to look at big picture, man. What are they so afraid of? Oh, you know what they're afraid of. What are they so afraid of? They're Donald. They're afraid of getting git mode and fucking executed for their crimes against humanity and treason. Look how fucking close he was. How the fuck they let him on that roof? Yeah, I don't know. He well, he was outside of the outside of the grounds. They're saying. Yeah. Either someone in fucking somebody in the Secret Service <laughs> or inside that event set that shit up. Yeah. Uh, it's possible. Uh, I saw a video of a, a, a guy telling uh, a reporter that he saw the kid on the guy on the roof and notified um, the police minutes before the sh- he even started the- he even started shooting so and there's video of secret service pointed their rifles in that direction yeah. before before the shooting even started so i hate to speculate on that you know i I'd, I'd like to give them the benefit of the doubt but it doesn't look good man yeah doesn't look good well they didn't get him you missed, bitch. What sucks is dead man tell no tales, right? So we'll never know exactly uh, what this happened with this kid or who put him up to it or, you know. Yeah. Unless he left some weird manifesto somewhere we don't know about. But that doesn't seem to be the case either so far. Yeah. Well. think it's all a show. I think it's all a show. I think I think they wanted to kill him. Oh, I think they want to kill him too. So this is either part of the show, or it's their last fucking their last attempt at stopping their impending takedown. I saw um, a thing on Reddit that said one of the bullets actually, I don't know if you can zoom in on the thing, but it showed a bullet hole on his uh, actual chest Yeah, in, in his suit. I don't know if it's true or not. I'm I'm assuming he wears a bulletproof vest at all times, but. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I saw that. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's true, but uh, Q said uh, the shot heard around the world, <laughs> and then on July fourteenth says a week to remember, and then later on he posts and it says. It's like a upside down gun and it says boom 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 a week to remember and it's in like the form of a gun. Hmm. Um so and that was posted years ago. So I don't know what the fuck's going on, man. I'm never looking at the surface though. Surface stuff it it is generally what's being hidden. Like not mm. not the surface stuff's being hidden, but like it's generally they're hiding something with the surface stuff. I think. I don't know, man. All right. I, guess, I don't know. I guess I guess that's just me. Yeah. Yeah. What else you got? Yeah. <laughs> that's it, dude. I just wanted to get on here and talk talk about some uh some some POTUS. And uh yeah, I felt like this is something we should probably talk about. Yeah. Like I said, uh, get out there, register to vote now. Do what you need to do now. That way you can vote now. in November. And Die. make sure you don't take it for granted, man. Because every person who stays at home when they should have went out and voted is uh, another opportunity for them to steal this shit again. I stole it last time. We have to make sure they don't steal it. Because they're they're clearly trying to do everything in their power to. So they're trying to do everything in their power to do that. Yeah. <laughs> You're like my hype man today. I like this. <laughs> yeah, boy, <laughs> D in the mic. All right, man. Well, yeah, that's all I got. I mean, that's just a quick, quick one. Yeah. All right. I guess. We'll be- what do you guys think? Do you think he was uh, targeted by the? left side of the pol- pol- political 100%. Uh, spectrum um <clears throat> or was it just some random lefty lunatic i think it was i i honestly I man think it was I, the elite establishment is what I, I think it was i think if it was an elitist they would have picked a better shot i don't think they would have missed i think they like they they would have kennedy kennedy it and had Three to four shooters. That way, they couldn't miss. Instead of one, that's what that's what makes me lean towards. It was just some crazy, you know. Yeah, but they didn't have they don't have as much control, I think, over Trump's people as they had over Kennedy's people. No, I I no, I agree with that. But still, I think if if it was the elite, if it was the CIA or if, you know FBI, let's be honest, if it was the CIA, I think for sure. They would have had minimum three shooters to guarantee they don't yeah. miss, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, th- that group doesn't, that group doesn't let people live when they want them dead. Doesn't happen. Yeah. Well, like I said, I think they've been trying to kill him for years. So, no. If so, y'all suck. You fucking suck. I'm glad they suck. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, get out um, there and vote. Leave a comment, like, yeah. share, subscribe. It's like P, it's like P Diddy says, "Vote or die." Right? Vote or die. Mhm. Vote, vote or die. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you tell your friends to give my friends, and we can be friends. I don't. I don't want to be friends with with him. We could do this every weekend. I don't want to. That I chew. You give me chills, bro. <laughs> you give me I chills. Multiplying. That's good. I All like right. giving chills. <laughs> I like to give the chills. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess uh, uh, Godspeed. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Where's my doggy? <laughs> All right, homie. Um, 
Yeah, and I have a feeling this week he's going to announce JFK Jr. as his uh, vice president. You heard it here first. Well, you probably heard it other places too, but you heard it here one of those times first. Um, I think he's going to go with the guy from Florida. DeSantis? No, 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 no. He's, there's a guy from, from Florida that's on his short list. Oh, Matt Gase? I think so, yeah. Hmm. All right. Joe, love you, man. I love you, too. Godspeed! <laughs> Godspeed. <laughs> You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. I'm the one who knocks.